Walter Dorino Burns. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the corner. Holy professional record up. Team wins. Hot serves. Weighing in. 80 pounds. Out of both. Killed by Young. Oh, it's interesting. It's a fighting out. Man is a professional record. 22 weight losses. Oh. It's a tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. The notorious Connor. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch gloves. that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he hurt a belly jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
de gancho nele, vai! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm gonna shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, it got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Burns. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Effective punch there by Burns. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, there's that patented heavy leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Shot is blocked there by Burns. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Burns gets stung by that leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Superman punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Burns. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Burns' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, single collar tie here. Stay safe. Be smart. Punch is blocked. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Burns gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. He is all about that left kick to the body. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Dorino gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Fifteen seconds to go. Burns gets hit by that kick to the body. And just misses with that big right hand. Uppercut lands for him. Round two winding down. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Here's the kick blocked by Burns. Single collar tie now. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, straight right. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice punch there by Burns. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Superman punch now. Right single power time now. Just missed with the elbow there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Right hook to the head block. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, but oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Beautiful punch. Just misses with the straight right. Nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Now connects with a right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh! Just missed with the left there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Ten seconds to go. Oh, collar tie. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure 
they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Straight punch lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? They continue to exchange. Straight to the body by Burns. Oh! He didn't oh. like that left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that right hand is on point. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Burns. Off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Elbow and he's gonna chase the submission finish. Oh, and there's a the tap. He got the finish, but a beautiful Kamora finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain, when you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're gonna break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 10 seconds of round number three. We find the winner by tap out, Gilbert Durinia Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight. And not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.